welcome to Acrylicodes channel. Today I'll show you how I made these visuals with touch designers. This is the last video of a series of three beginner-friendly tutorials you can easily achieve yourself. Let's get started. Right here I have an empty touch designer project. I'll close the palette, split the screen, create this window for the top viewer. Press tab to open the dialog window, create an out top and turn the display on. Right click, go to display and select backdrop tops. To get started I will create a circle. Click on the circle to attach a feedback and then click on the feedback to attach a level. Click on the level to attach a transform Attach a composite to the transform. Connect the circle to the comp. And lastly, attach the comp to the out. Click on the circle and turn on the polygon. Go to common and set the resolution to 1280 by 720. Go back to the circle and set the radius smaller. Drag and drop the comp to the feedback to activate the feedback and change the operation of the comp to add instead of multiply. Now the shape is still pretty static. To fix this, I'll go to the circle and where it says rotate, I'll type in apps time dot frame and multiply this by 0.3. Now the shape is rotating. To have the full effect, I'll go to Level and change the opacity to 0 0.95. Go to Transform and in the Rotation value I will type in AbsTime.Frame and I will multiply this with 0 0.005. Where the comps connect to the out, I will insert an edge operator. Where the edge connects to the out, I will insert a mirror operator. Next, I'll play around with the rotation and the pivot of the mirror. Once you find the shape that you like, uh, you'll have to separate it. So I'll use a crop operator and I will then increase the crop right until I only see my shape appearing on the right side of the screen. Here I will add a transform operator and I will try to change the rotation and translation values until the shape is in the middle of the screen and is looking how I want it to look. Here I'll add another transform, change the alpha background color to 1 and I'll turn on comp over background color. Here in the middle I will add an edge operator to get more defined lines. The reason I didn't change the background color here in this transform is because once I add the edge operator later it will mess up with the background color anyways. I'll go back here to the initial circle and change the value of the border offset. Since I have a feedback loop in here, any changes I make take a while to reflect on the render. 
In the render I showed you in the beginning of the video, I had the border offset change constantly from 0 to 1 and vice versa. I don't want to do this manually, so in order to automatize this, press tab and add an LFO chop. Drag and drop it right here in the back. Next, I'll set the frequency to 0 0.1. Here we notice that the LFO is moving from minus 1 to 1. To fix this, I'll attach a math comp, go to the range and set the from range minus 1 to 1. Next, I'll select both the LFO and the math, activate them drag and drop to the border offset and select chop reference now i can see the animation i wanted you can of course play around with the values and add more nodes to have different effects but this is it for now I hope you enjoyed this last video of the beginner series. Please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and check out the rest of the Touch Designer tutorials.